Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. OneNote allows you to insert many other types of files, such as audio and video files. The process for inserting both audio and video files into your OneNote pages is the same. First navigate to the page and click in the area where you want to insert the file. Click the Insert tab in the ribbon and then select the File Attachment button to launch the Choose a File or Set of Files to Insert dialog box. Navigate and click on the file that you want to insert to select it, and then click the Insert button. Then click the Attach File button in the Insert File dialog box that appears. An icon representing the file will be inserted into the page in the location where your cursor was blinking. The icon is an object on the page and can be moved to a different location by clicking and dragging. Most audio and video files that are not fully compatible with OneNote will be inserted as object attachments, which will open within the external application used to play them when they are double-clicked. These file types cannot be played back within OneNote. However, when a fully compatible audio or video file type, such as a WMV or WMA file for Windows Media File with Video and or Audio, or some MP3 files with the appropriate encoding, is inserted and selected within a OneNote page, a Playback tab within an Audio and Video Contextual tab will appear in the ribbon. Clicking the Playback tab will reveal the three button groups used to control fully compatible audio and video files in OneNote, Recording, Playback, and Options. We'll look at recording audio as WMA files and video as WMV files in a separate lesson. For now, let's examine the playback button group. The buttons in this group control the playback of the file, and the recording time field tells you how long the file is. You have buttons to play, pause, stop, and buttons to rewind and fast forward the video file. However, you don't have to use the ribbon to access these controls. If you click to select a fully compatible media file in the page, a small mini toolbar will appear with the same controls for easy access. Now let's take a look at the buttons within the Options button group on the Playback tab in the ribbon. One interesting feature of OneNote is that you can take notes while you are playing back recordings, or even if you are recording on the fly, and OneNote will remember where in the time code those notes were taken. Later, to see any linked notes that were made while the recording was being played or recorded, ensure the C Playback button is toggled on to highlight those notes. This is a toggle button that you can click to toggle the highlighting either on or off. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.